Let's read a book. Let's read a book. Today we are going to read Maurice Goes to School. Maurice the Moose wanted candy. He went to the wrong store. The man in the store said, We don't sell candy. Can you read? Then he showed Maurice the candy store. The man in the candy store said, What would you like? Maurice looked at the candy. He liked the gumdrops. He said, Give me some of those. The man said, There are one for a penny. How much money do you have? Maurice looked. He had six pennies. I have four pennies, he said. The man laughed. You have six. Can you count? Don't you go to school? Maurice asked. What is school? The man said. I will show you, but first, here are six gumdrops. There are one for a penny, and you have six pennies. Then the man took Maurice to school. The children said, Oh, look, a real moose. The teacher said, Hello, my name is Miss Fine. The man said, He never went to school. Maurice could not say anything. His mouth was full of gumdrops. Maurice swallowed the gumdrops. Then he said, My name is Maurice the Moose. I want to learn to count. I want to learn to read, too. I like candy. Miss Fine said, Hello, Maurice. Welcome to our class. Please sit at a desk. Maurice tried, but he didn't fit. He had to, to sit on top of the desk. We will now study the alphabet, said Miss Fine. This is an A. This is a B. Maurice hid under the desk. He yelled, Where is the B? I am afraid of bees. They stink. Miss Fine said, I meant the letter B, this one here. It doesn't sting. Then Miss Fine said, And next there is C. Oh, I like the C, Maurice said. I love to swim. No, no, said Miss Fine. I meant the letter C, this one here. And next Miss Fine said, There is D, and E, and F, G, H, I. Morris Jill, I have an I. I have two of them. Miss Fine said, I meant the letter I. Morris, please, don't interrupt again. Morris didn't. Morris couldn't. Morris wasn't there. He had to leave the room. One door said boys. One door said girls. Maurice couldn't read yet. He opened the wrong door. A girl cried, Stop! You can't come in here. This is for girls. The other one is for boys. Maurice told Miss Fine. There is no door for a moose. Miss Fine put a sign. Boys and moose. When Morris came back, Miss Fine said, Now we will spell it. Cat is spelled C-A-T. Dog is spelled D-O-G. Morris looked sad. What is the matter, Morris? asked Miss Fine. Morris said, You didn't spell moose. Can anyone spell moose? asked Miss Fine. A boy said, M O 
S E. A girl said, No, no, it is M O O C E. You are both wrong, said Miss Fine. It is a spell M O O S E. Morris said, Oh, I am hard to spell. Miss Fine said, I think it is time for lunch. The children opened their long boxes. Some of them have cheese sandwiches. Some had cream cheese and jelly sandwiches. Some had hamburgers. Each of them had a piece of fruit. But Morris had nothing. He ate lunch anyway. After lunch, the children played. Some played the ball and some played jump rope. Morris did both at the same time. Miss Fine said, Children, now it is time to rest. The children rest on their desk. Morris tried, but he was too big. Miss Fine let him use her dress. When rest time was over, Miss Fine said, Wake up, wake up, it is time to fingerprint. Maury said, I will half paint. You can tell which painted he did. Miss Fine said, Now we will study arithmetic. Who would like to count? A boy counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. No, no, said Miss Fine. Who knows what comes after eight? Maurice said, I know, bedtime. Nine is the answer, said Miss Fine. Nine comes after eight. Who knows what comes after nine? A girl counter on her fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, she said. Ten comes after nine. Miss Fine said, that's right. Morris looked sad. What is the matter, Morris? asked Miss Fine. Morris held up his hoofs. I can only count to four, he said. Miss Fine said, you can count higher than that. I will show you. He counted on Morris' hooves. One, two, three, four. Then she counted on Morris' altars. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maurice said, I like to count. I will never wear a hat. Miss Fine said, Now I think it is time to sing a song. What is a song? asked Maurice. Miss Fine said, I will show you. She said, I have been working on the railroad. What is a railroad? Maurice asked. A railroad? Has tracks, said Miss Fine. They look like this. Oh, I know what tracks are, Maury said. Fireman climbs them. No, no, said Miss Fine. Firemen climb ladders. Ladders go up like this. Maury said, Let's sing another song. I am learning a lot. Miss Fine said, uh, no, we just have time for a game. Let's play make-believe. A girl said, I am a tree. A boy said, I am a monkey. Another boy said, I am a moose. Murray and the children laughed. Morris went to the code closet. He said, I am a code closet. The children laugh again. Miss Fine laughed too. Then the school bell rang.
Morris asked, Is that the ice cream man? Miss Fine said, No, it is time to go home. Morris gave the children their coats. The children and Morris said, Goodbye, Miss Fine. Miss Fine said, I will see you all tomorrow. Morris ran to the forest. He took money from his hiding place. He wanted candy. This time he went to the rice store. He said, Hello, I want some gumdrops, please. The man said, Hello, they are one for a penny. How much money do you have? Morris looked. He had five pennies. I have five pennies, he said. Please give me five gumdrops, please. The man gave Morris the gumdrops. He said, You have learned arithmetic. What else have you learned in school? Morris said, I learned how to hoof paint. I learned how to spill mousse. I learned how to be a clothes closet. And I learned all the numbers in the alphabet. The man said, You mean all the letters, don't you? Morris wanted to say yes. Morris tried to say yes, but Morris couldn't. His mouth was full of gumdrops. Si te gustó este video, dale me gusta y no te olvides de suscribirte. También entra a www.cadacosta.com para adquirir práctica de este y de otros temas, productos exclusivos y tener la oportunidad de matricularte a mis clases de inglés.